Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to save in your drive, rename and share for a limited amount of time the meet recordings from your Google Hangouts. So, the meet recordings will come from this sender into your email and they will be labeled or named after the same um, code that was part of the Google Meet Hangout link. So if you made an alias, it will have the name of the alias. If it just had a random name, it will be named after the random name. So this is what you should do. So if you open it up and it has this random name, my suggestion is that you first rename it, which you should be able to do here, here, uh, to a name that makes sense to you. Maybe a name that relates to what the meeting was about and you can see here it has the date of the recording and I'm just going to leave it with the date, no time, to make it clear to me when I look back into my drive for this um, recording. So I'll just leave it like that, okay? So it has now a new name up here. Once you've done that, you will want to organize your recording into the folders that at least um, we created in the PYP teachers folder. But you could have any folder. Um, so in the PYP teachers folder, I color coded this folder for myself so it would be easier for me to find it as I was scrolling through. Maybe it's a good idea for you to do that too. And then you can save it into whichever level and class it should be saved into. Okay? This teacher created some extra folders inside, those that were for DPS and those for Writers Workshop. That was a good idea. Okay, but I'm not going to save it here because it doesn't belong there. I already have it in a folder that I created for myself. So I'm not really going to move it, but I showed you how to do it. Okay, so once you have it in the folder, imagine that now you need to share it. For example, with a student or with a parent who is not part of the Santiago College community, or maybe is, but you don't want them to have access for, to the video forever. So um, I had already done this with my personal email, but let's just imagine that I'm going to share it with another personal email that I have. Okay, here. So this is an email that does not belong to the school. And after you shared it with that person, you'll go back to share, click open advanced, and you have several options here. I don't want this person to be able to edit this video. I just want this person to be able to view the video. Okay? I This by default comes like this, with only one click here, which disables the option for the, any other person to download uh, the video. If it were a Google Doc or a slide, they wouldn't be able to print or copy for commenters or anything. I also like to click here to prevent editors from changing access and adding new people. If I don't do this, this person could add more people into being able to view this video, and I don't want that, okay? Because I want to save it exclusively to those people who have a justified reason for not having been in the class. And something else that you would like to do is share it, but not forever. You want to share it for a limited amount of time. So by default it comes for 30 days. It could be for seven days, but I could also decide on how many days I want to share it for. So imagine that you're giving the student who was absent three days to watch this video. So I'll give one, two, three, and it's going to share it. Oops, not 33 days. I made a mistake there because I'm in the wrong month. So if it's the ninth today, then one, two, three, I'll give them until Sunday at midnight to watch the video. After that, automatically the sharing with this person will expire. I had done the same for this other user of mine for three days, 
and that was two days ago, so it expires tomorrow, see? So everything's working as it should be. And now I save the changes and click Done. And that's how you save into the folder you want to put your video recordings in, rename your video recordings to a name that makes sense to you and hopefully with a date, and finally how to share it with people for a limited amount of time and make this to happen automatically. So if you forget, the system will do it for you. And that's it. I hope this is helpful for you uh, with your Google Meet recordings. Thank you for listening.